slap the, someone slap the top of your head. If that's going right to your face or oh, ear, what's that gonna do? Well, it's way stronger than the punch. Like I mean, once I feel that weight shift, bingo. That's, that's it. where I can pull up. Now I don't need Alex to be all the way off me. I just gotta grab the knife and get the blade. When you're training with a rubber knife, everybody's a hero. Everybody's a you know a mega warrior, Superman, and all that. But you can't grab this. Your fingers gonna come off. My knives are sharp. Right? You can't just sink your hip into that. You're, you're gonna go to the hospital. So it, it keeps you. Hey, it's Paul Ingram. CollegeCenter.com, back with my good friend Alex Embry. We're at Alpha BJJ in Woodstock, Illinois. This is uh, Alex's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school. And uh, he's also a, a Kali charter group of ours. And uh, he teaches Kali classes here as well. So I just got done teaching a uh, Kali seminar here. And uh, we're doing a part two of our Kali against BJJ, BJJ dominating Kali video. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, right? I mean, we, in the last video, we were discussing about. Um, it's not really like one art is more dominant than the other. It's more of timing. Everything. You know, who can get to the best position first? All right. So now what I want to do in this video, because we know that in Kali the best position would be I got my knife out, we're coming to the ground, blah, 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 and this is inserting in the neck, right? Obviously we know what's going to happen. You could be putting pressure, you're going to put pressure in my chin for a few seconds until you bleed out. And then I just have to get your body weight off of me. Right. So uh, in this video, what, I, what, I, what we're going to discuss is in the last video, we used the word just a lot. Ah, oh, you know, just do this, just do that, or, or, you know, nothing is really set in stone. Right. So what we want to do is, is get a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu expert, right? <laughs> I mean, none of our, uh, none of our really expert. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing is... is you know, we don't really consider ourselves experts or anything because we're still students of our arts. Um, but we want that full honesty of, okay, if a Kali guy got this on you, bang, slap to the ear, what do you think that would really do? You know? Uh, it may not end the fight, but it may give me time to get to my weapon and potentially end the fight, right? right. So we're, we're, we're looking at a position, side control, because what we've discussed and what we found out through training and experimenting with a lot of this stuff, because really my goal is to figure out how does BJJ beat Kali. Not really how does Kali beat, beat BJJ, because I, I don't care about that. I want to know how you beat us, right? Because then you know, maybe we can come up with a counter for it, right? But whatever. Um, okay, so we're talking about side control here, and your main goal was to do what? Isolate near side arm and the far side arm so you couldn't access your weapons. Right, so I can't get to my weapons, so I'm, what I'm looking at in media is what can I do to give you problems uh, of isolating at least one of my arms. Right. This arm is pretty much useless. I may be able to do some things, grab your groin, things like that to create distractions. Uh, but really what I want to do is move your head to free my knives. Yeah. So as you're moving into position, we're doing whatever, right? So let's just do whatever we're gonna do. All right, so once I have some space here, this hand, I can easily ping, slap the ear. So I'm gonna slap your shoulder. That slap to your ear, what do you think is going to happen? Now, that was not full go. Right. What right. do you think of full that's, go? That's super disorienting. Like, at the very least, it's super disorienting, probably painful. And what you're going to get is a movement this way right. in, in the head. You're going to get that movement. It's, it's basic human response. I get pain here, I'm going to turn away from it. No matter how hardened your guy is, a good slap in the ear is going to make right. him look. Now, to try and get away from it. Here's the thing with Kali. When, I, when we say slap the ear, it's not one slap. Mm -hmm. So when we're there, we're constantly, bang, bang, bang. We're going to slap this thing multiple times. Mm -hmm. Now, we know in Kali that, now, we're, I'm not in a position where it's necessarily going to knock you out, but it's going to deafen you. Right. It's going to blow your eardrum out. So if we're here, I'm going to slap your shoulder a few times. Move around. Okay. Bang. And then if I have that one. One. Now, we got to pretend that's on your ear. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Bang. 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 Right? So what is that realistically going to get your response to do? This, is, this response is actually pretty clean. And notice I turn my head away and kind of bury it bury away from the pain while still maintaining pressure up on your shoulder. Correct. That's okay. what we're looking at. So as we're moving, right, this may buy me that time to get to a knife. Absolutely. And once I'm in that position, that's, that's going to be hard. Because I have double force too. Right. All right. So the second thing is, after the slap was... This hand is free when you're blocking my hip. 
to pull the ear. Now, we know that ear is a very sensitive place. It only takes two pounds of pressure to pull an ear off, right? So when I pull the ear, what happens, Alex? It brings my weight up because I have to follow that if I don't want damage to my ear. Correct. So it brings my weight up. Which it clears that chest and it more importantly clears your hips. Which allows me the time to draw the knife. Boom. And then if I get my second one out, now you're really in trouble, right? And this is what I think is important for like, and again, part of this is a labor of love for me because I want jujitsu guys to understand like the severity of this. Like, Everyone's gonna jump online and go, oh, Paul didn't do a good shrimp. Guess what? He's I don't have to. to. You know, I'm just trying to get my knife. All he has to do is clear his hips far enough to get to his knife. Like it doesn't, it, we, we judge so much on perfect technical jujitsu. And when you're learning jujitsu for the art of jujitsu, yes, you should train perfect technical jujitsu. I really believe that. We, do, we say the same thing for Kyle. Right, but when you're like digging into how does this happen in, in combat situations, it doesn't matter if that wasn't a perfect shrimp or a perfect oompa. What I matters is, does it clear the knife? <laughs> does he get access to the weapon? And like, man, like we, we've got to understand that about application against an art like Kyle. We just have to. Yeah. So we know the ear is very sensitive. So from here, right, I get the ear, right? However I pull it, I get the ear. If you go back, bang, I'm back into the slap. Now, I'm going to slap the top of your head, and you tell me what that feels like. Mm. Yeah. Now, that to the face or the ear, what do you think that's going to do, Alex? That's actually worse than a punch from this position. Oh, yeah. Punched is weak. There's no, there's no power in the right. punch. But from here, because of the way you're able to manipulate your torso, that's, that's changing body position. Doesn't have to knock me out. I think a lot of people are going to judge it on, like, you know, how much damage it is. Doesn't have to knock me out. It's just, but that slap... I mean, that's driving the head back, and, and again, we played with this. We don't have the helmets on right now, but we played with this. We know that that shot's gonna drive my head back. And I mean, once I feel that weight shift, bingo, that's, that's it. where I can pull up. Now, I don't need Alex to be all the way off me. I just gotta grab the knife and get the blade out. In Kali, this is one of the things on the ground. We use gravity. So if you wanted to sink your hip back down, oh, that's a bad day. Bad day. You know, and guys, this is, you know, I don't recommend uh, training this stuff with a live blade, but the reason we're doing it here is you can't fuck around. I mean, the, the reality is that you know there's there's no mistakes. There's, I guess when you're training with a rubber knife, everybody's a hero, everybody's a you know a mega warrior, Superman, right. and all that. But you can't grab this. Your fingers gonna come off. My knives are sharp, right? You can't just sink your hip into that. You you're gonna go to the hospital. So it, it keeps you very honest, <laughs> you know? and. You know, I want to know this stuff, Alex wants to know this stuff, so we're looking at it from a very true acoustic point of view. And the, and the focus that that brought, we were playing with it earlier with the right leg came out, like, man, you're talking about arm isolation? Holy oh, oh, shit. And going, yeah, I've never <laughs> seen you move so fast. Right. <laughs> I'm old, I hurt you. Yeah, I get him in So It's such a focusing tool, but again, you know, we're doing this for the experimentation sake. We're both comfortable. We both know the risk. I, I'm with Paul. I wouldn't recommend that just... You know, you're a jiu-jitsu guy, like, hey, let's defend a lot of light. I, I wouldn't make that jump, just... No, we're right there. We're very aware, you know, I mean, we're rolling around, we get very position, the light blades out, I tell Alex, stop. You know, because the blade's about to go in the nape of your neck. <laughs> you know, and then if we have to, we throw the blade, and we just simulate as if we had to. But, um, you know, like, again, it, it really just comes down to, because uh, we're going to get people to comment on this. It's a little bit different video on Kali Center. Uh, but we're going to get those people to comment and be like, oh, that slap's not powerful enough. And, and, and again, it's not about like, oh, college the ultimate martial arts, BJ is right. the ultimate martial arts. I mean, we've already distinguished that. It's about who can get to the position first. If Alex gets the dominant position and isolates the arms, then he, he's probably going to win. 99% chance you're going to win. I mean, you control the position, you control the fight. We know that in college, right? Right. Um, but, you know, if, if I can get to a slap, I think it's powerful enough to at least move you, you moving in that get you to respond. That's it. That's what's key. And then you're more focused viscerally on protect what was damaged because you cannot get away from instinct. Right. And uh, that allows me to tactical thinking to get to my mind. And I agree wholeheartedly. The other thing I want to flip uh, on looking at the jujitsu side of this is guys, I love gi jujitsu more than anything else about jujitsu. Don't be afraid to put some gloves on and, and, and hit each other occasionally. Don't hurt each other, but like train smart. And we've gotten as an art of jujitsu, we've gotten away from like the core of that, what it was designed for. And like we, we, we've lost a little bit in that. And guys, 
Leave your geese on, put some gloves on occasionally, get hit, like see what happens with your position, see what happens before you even start talking about it tonight. The only reason I'm comfortable doing this is because guess what? Occasionally I let people punch me in the face right. and use my jujitsu against that. And if you're looking at jujitsu for any kind of self-defense at all, you owe it to yourself, and if you're an instructor, you owe it to your students to experiment with that. You I did on there. I did a video uh, a little while ago on how to never get hit in martial arts. If you haven't seen that video, click right there. Right? And uh, click on that video and you can see it there. Uh, but that's what I talked about. And essentially, this is what we're doing in that video. Now, we're learning how does BJJ counter Kali? How does Kali counter BJJ? And the reason that we're doing that isn't so much to like, try to say what martial arts is better or whatever. I think if you can combine all your martial arts into one full package, throw some penetration in this stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, those guys got the best slams on the ground than right. anybody, right? Um, but I mean, it, that's between uh, that video and then the video I did on uh, excelling your martial arts skills nine times faster. This is creative experience right here. So if you watch those videos, I'll link both those videos in the box below so that way you can watch them. Uh, it's exactly what I was talking about in those videos. Right. I think it's awesome. All right, so uh, if you like these types of videos, if you want to see Alex more, maybe we'll do some different positions in the future and stuff, give me a thumbs up, tell me in the comments below. And I do have another challenge for you guys watching the video. Uh, if you train BJJ and or you train Kali, get with the BJJ guy or what and collaborate and see what you can come up with. I think the biggest, really the biggest issue in martial arts I feel right now is how to deal with the knife on the ground. Yes. I feel like that's just... Has it not at all been done there? No, there hasn't been. I think everyone has just been like, just avoiding it because it's just a problem. Right. It, it, it's the biggest problem in martial arts. Right. <laughs> oh, fuck it, just leave it alone. I say, let's go after that problem because no one else is going to do it. Right. Um, so uh, that's my challenge to you guys. Uh, figure it out, train that stuff. I don't care if you're a black belt in BJJ or if you're a white belt. I don't care if you are you know, a guru in Kali or a day one student. All right? Just get together and train and just practice. You don't need the best positions, you don't need the best techniques or whatever, just experience and be creative. All right? And then uh, if, if you're brave enough, make some videos, upload them, share them. Uh, I'll make sure, because if you share a link, in the comments, it automatically becomes spam, but if it's a link to one of those videos that's educational, uh, I'll go ahead, I'll make sure that that uh, comment gets approved so that way we can uh, check out those videos. Uh, and then uh, if you want to see more videos like this, we'll do some more videos uh, in the future, in the near future, hopefully, and uh, just subscribe to the channel. And uh, also make sure you check out Alex's YouTube channel at Alpha BJJ. Alpha BJJ. I have that linked in the comments uh, in the box below. Also, click here. And go check out his uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu moves. Really, really good stuff. I highly recommend training Jiu Jitsu with Alex. And especially because you're one of the only guys that's going to do this. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's it is. Because you have to, I mean, we, in martial arts, we talk about letting go of the ego. And yet we're the worst at actually doing it. Right. <laughs> and, and, and it's, you know, that's that's what, when we're together, there's just, there, there's not. It's just what I'm doing. We just want to learn. All right, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, leave a comment, subscribe. Check out hollycenter.com. We have our online school over there. We also have our DVD downloads if you want to uh, continue your college training with us. And uh, we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Always fun.